Well, 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 good afternoon, Riga MK, and here we are, Friday the 13th of November. I mean, what a year. What could possibly go wrong? Anyway, um, great um, to see you, and if you're watching this later, thank you for watching, of course. I'm just going to do a very brief um, business update, tell you what's going on in the business. I think most of you know, because one thing we do try and do is not have um, the mushroom definition of networks. You know, we try to communicate with you every week or sometimes every single day um, as much as we possibly can. And you're normally very much abreast of anything that is going on in the business. And that's the way it should be. There's no reason for you not to know what we're doing in the business. So we keep that communication um, ripe. Um, so it's, but it's great to have this live catch up every few weeks and I can do some live draws and get them right this time and just uh, tell you what else is going on in the business just in case you haven't caught on to it with all the communication. Um, of course, before I forget, there's much more communication to come out later today and across the weekend on various things that are happening in the business. So, as we all know, period 11, which now finished a couple of weeks ago, uh, finished last week, was an extraordinary period for us in units shifted, in people connected in deliveries, in any way you look at it, in um, commission payouts, in every way, it was an absolutely extraordinary four week period for us. Um, and I'd just like to thank every individual that played their part from the frontline retailers, as we've said, always said, retail is king, you know, you have to create volume in a business. You have to sell something to create a business. You know, I, I'm very much in, in line with that, that without sales, you don't have a business. But then we have the background encouragers and the networkers that support and encourage and motivate and inspire people. And it's a combination of the two. So, you know, we have three things that make our business work. It's um, the head office connection and the things that we do to help build a business. It's the things that the motivators and the encouragers do to encourage people. And of course, then it's sales. Um, and a business can't operate without sales in the same way that it needs the encouragers and the motivators. It's such a great symbiotic connection between the three areas of the business. So period 11 was extraordinary for us. You know, I, I'm not going to go down that shaky road of saying, hooray, greatest period ever, even though it was, or look how big we are, or look how clever we are, or look what we can do, or we've just turned over 64 billion pounds. You know, it's not about that. I'll let all the others carry on bleating about that. I personally think they're fairly hollow things to say about a business. I always find they're very hollow things to say about a business, which is why I talk about units shift, people's engagement, the connection of people, the amount of people actively working part in the business or partnerships in the business. Those things matter far more than anything else. You know, we've never shifted as many single units as we did in period 11, which basically means there are more customers out there that have got something from Viva MK than we have ever done. And that includes um, many times even in Clean Easy, we shifted even more than that, you know, so it's been an extraordinary period. And in then you saw my our email, I think yesterday, telling you how many catalogues have just been sold in the last ten, uh, eight, to, eight to 10 days, an extraordinary amount of books. And then you get clowns telling us that catalogues don't work. Well, something clearly works. You know, we're building an online portfolio and we'll keep building that. And uh, I know many of you work online and it's absolutely fantastic because there are two parts to the business, very distinct parts. But never ever say that one is dead and one isn't, or one is better and one isn't. You know, 
in this world where you can order something at two o'clock in the afternoon and have it delivered on the same day, that's hell of an online presence to actually compete with. Now, we can do it through our connection and that's where the, the, the difference happens. It is all about connection. This is why our catalog part of the business works so well because you create a connection that a cold online sale can't create. But with your presence, you create a warm connection in the online part of our business as well. You see, that's why connection is so vital, far better than just piling on and pummeling out products um, because there's so much competition for that. And there are companies that will wipe the floor with anybody, uh, people, uh, companies like Amazon that will wipe the floor and deliver within hours. And you know what? They will start delivering even faster. So the competition is rife, which means we have to do things in our unique, connected way. You know, create connections, create warmth, create that camaraderie with customers, whether it's face to face or whether it's online. It's that connection that makes a difference, which is the same as our business. You know, uh, I will bleat more about our connection and our warmth and our camaraderie and our collective togetherness than any other facet of our business. It's becoming our most unique selling point that we, and now we, all of us, have taken the pieces that we know from other businesses, from our past, and tried to create this new organization of a bunch of friends building a business in the way that it should be. And, and there, there, ladies and gentlemen, is the difference. A business the way that it should be, not how corporate people say it should be, not how an upline says it, how it should be, not like how anybody says, except a collective of people. And that's why we do things in our unique way, to make something of all the things that are missing everywhere else. And that's our greatest and most unique selling point in this business, which is why I bleat on so much about people being valued, about partnerships. This is why we will not tolerate um, any kind of um, negativity or bullying against people because everyone has to be valued. You know, those old values of corporate upline pressure are so in the past when you're trying to build a connected business. So thank you for everybody that are, are, are heralding that and are the flagship of this business and that will take us forward. So, so much has been going on since we last spoke in this way. You know, we launched the VMK VIP, um, as you saw from my post last week, you know, we, we have got so many participants in that already. I suspect that's going to be one of the biggest parties that we've ever had, um, a champagne reception with gala dinner. You know, we haven't even got dates yet because no one will allow us to have dates. And I said, I'll give you a date in January. And already we have people past the first post, which is fantastic. So thank you to all the qualifiers. Plenty of time for everybody else. I did say I'm going to enhance that and I will do over the next few days, make it even more of a catch, something to do and something to go for, to encourage. We launched a showcase, it's on the 16th. It's very unlikely it will be a face-to-face. -face. That's very unlikely in these days. So we'll have another virtual one, but we'll make it different. We'll, maybe, we'll throw in some more live speakers maybe. Um, um, so that's going to be very different. And thank you to the people that are given recommendations for that. I really take those on board. Again, you know, we can do that. I had an email from one of our illustrious distributors. I won't mention his name because he'll get shy. Um, and he said, well, I think we should do this. We should do this. Um, normally, in any other company, they'll be told to get lost because that's what happens in companies. But, um, you know, I speak a lot to a lot of people and we're going to take on many of the things he said on board because they were good ideas. They are good suggestions and you can only do that in this kind of connection. Um, so we launched that. That's on January the 16th. We launched Viva MK Health, which was at the last showcase. Uh, later on today, we're going to give you some of the ingredient listings of exactly what is going in those. And like I've said to you, they're being manufactured especially for it with each raw ingredient um, 
brought together specifically for Viva MK. So it cannot be emulated, it cannot be copied, it's our unique product. Um, like the two products you saw earlier this week, um, the very quirkly named Hobjob. God knows who came up with such a ridiculous name. Hobjob, and I can't stop saying it now, um, Hobjob was released earlier this week, um, as was the pink, pure pink polish. Um, both fantastic products. Some of you will be receiving those today because you've already ordered them. There's three more products coming in the next few weeks and one of them I'm particularly, expi particularly excited about. We'll talk more about that as the weeks go on, but Viva Sparkle, I think is going to be one of our uh, revolutionary um, flagship products. So that's all happening. And in the meantime, um, as you know, like I've just said, we sold out of the autumn winter book, particularly in the last few days, there have been such a surge of people wanting catalogues. So we redesigned it um, because it's far too soon to bring out spring summer yet. That's still being put together as it's going to be such a chunky old catalog. Um, it's still being put together. So we redesigned the autumn winter. It's going to look completely different. In fact, your customers will think it's a brand new catalog. You'll be able to get that from Thursday onwards. I've, we've again ordered 100,000 copies of that. So plenty to go around. Um, so, and that will be a great bridging catalog between autumn, winter that is sold out, spring, summer that's coming, coming in towards the end of the year. We've even taken out the words autumn, winter on it. So some people will actually feel like it's a brand new uh, catalog with a brand new cover. And, and I'll probably tell you over the weekend or show you it over the weekend. Very early next week, Monday or Tuesday, you'll have the full PDF of it and you'll be able to buy it from Thursday. Uh, so that's almost like a, and it's got all our latest new products in it so it's got the mask sprays in it it's got the um uh products that we revealed earlier in the week in it it's got the extra blast cans so a full-on catalog which looks completely new then there's a whole bunch of other plans going on and i'll talk about those in a minute but let's do this draw um before i forget what the rules were like i often do of course so this was based on sales over eight, nine, and 10, periods eight, nine, and 10, um, and who would get the highest monetary growth in period 11 compared to the highest of the three. So whether their highest was eight, nine, or 10 in comparison to what happened in 11. And we had some brilliant results and the little live draw as well. So in third place, of the highest increase over eight, nine, and 10 in monetary, in a monetary value was the wonderful Stephen Neal. Uh, congratulations, Stephen, uh, third place. Look, we're all behind you, young man. Uh, no times have been tough, and um, but you know, we're all here, and I, and, and I know you appreciate that, and you know, you, you know we, we are here to support you. So congratulations on coming in at number three, a 50 pound prize. Second prize um, at a hundred pounds, um, no surprise, Janet Lyle and Steve Reese. Thank you very much and congratulations on everything you're doing in the business in second place. In first place with a whopping increase over the highest period, eight, nine and 10 um, from Ireland, Cara Russell, congratulations to you, 200 pounds. Goodness knows how that will translate into euros. I think these are going to be vouchers anyway, rather than monetary transfers. So congratulations, Cara Russell. Um, you've done very well. And uh, I get once again, you know, you, your, your sales have been extraordinary from your highest period before. So well done to you. Now a quick uh, draw, and I'll try not to mess this up. So th this draw is for everybody that placed a... 50 pound order during period, period 11. <laughs> yes, it's already that time of day. So um, I'll just pick out two of these. I think it's two and let's see who they are. Um, okay, let's, let's just pick something out from my little black box. And as I always say to you, it is quite a quirky little black box. So here we go. The first one is, oh, what a surprise. Our own little number one, Yvonne Miesel. Uh, congratulations, Yvonne. I just covered up your distributor number there. Uh, Yvonne Miesel, congratulations to you. Um, as if you're not already the most excited person on the entire planet. 
and everything every time something happens you get even more excited and, and it's quite extraordinary to see how excited you do actually get it's wonderful congratulations to you number one um, in the prize draw and the second one is Andrew Herbert and Sally Forrester. Congratulations to you as well. And well done on continuously being in the top 20 retailers week in, week out, week in, week out. Congratulations to you. So that's the prize draw and uh, hallelujah. I actually didn't mess it up, but I've still got a few minutes to mess something else up. Um, so I said I'd mention plans. Um, you know, it's... I don't need to tell anybody what an extraordinary year it's been for all of us. Um, not necessarily extraordinarily good, um, just extraordinarily just bizarre in everything that has happened and everything that continues to happen. Um, I know there's been some great news this week, forthcoming vaccines and so on, but you know, we're still in this state of animation where we can't really work out what is going on and how it's going to happen you know in, here in the UK I know it's different in Ireland and Wales and Scotland but here in England um, we're in the middle of a lockdown as you know which gets lifted um, in December but whether it does or it doesn't or what's going to happen we're in this extraordinary year and through that extraordinary year through adversity you always get positive things happening you do um, and that's what adversity does you know and regardless of the bad things that happened you know it in my humble opinion it made the connection of people stronger than ever before I can tell you that just from a personal point of view you know I am um, have people from our network who just call to see if everything is okay and if you know I'm okay and people do that to each other these people barely know me and they still do that um, and you know I'm not saying it's just because of the pandemic but it has brought people closer together in a company where we always talked about being closer together you know we've always wanted to be closer together i've always said to you we're stronger together i've always said we're a partnership i've always said you know we were just a group of friends who were left standing around after the last company we were all part of deteriorated in the way that it did and we wanted to work together again i know some people flitted off here there and everywhere but there was a whole group of people that um, wanted us to do something. And that's kind of what we did. Just a group of friends that felt their time in business wasn't up yet. It wasn't complete, far from over. It was premature, prematurely brought to a halt um, for all the already documented reasons. It was prematurely brought to a halt and we wanted to carry on working together you know many of you may be involved in other businesses many of you get offers every single day many of us here at HQ get offers every single day but there is nothing more glorious than connecting with friends and working together and building a business that like I said right at the start of this conversation is a result of all the things we didn't like in other businesses. All the things that notoriously bad in the industry, we tried to bring it into our business and make them better. And you can only do that when you start a business from scratch where the culture hasn't ingrained itself. So we can change things at the drop of a hat. You know, I get people who call me and they'll say, look, we really think this should be, or something should change. And you know, if I think it's a good enough idea, we change things within hours. You can only do that when you're working with friends, when you're willing to accept other people's ideas and you're willing to carry on working together. There is no company, and this I will brag about, there is no company 
in our entire industry that can change and work the way that we change and work on a daily basis. We may not be the biggest, we may not have 16 billion distributors or whatever other boasts you hear in the industry, which has become notorious in the industry. We may not have all that, but one thing we do have is a partnership that operates as a partnership. Because if it wasn't, there is no way that I would ever listen to anybody and take it on board. Now, you can't take on a thousand opinions from a thousand people. But you know what? You can still consider them all. And we do take many of them on. And where plans are concerned, there are numerous plans for 2021. They've been in formulation for months. Today, and it's not a big-headed statement or a conceited statement, I don't believe we have any competition. Because, you know, we're a partnership. Here we're the owners of the business and we're talking to each other. There is no other connection out there like this that works like this. We have no competition because we're building this unique selling structure where a person I'd like to feel constantly feels valued. You know, of course, there'll be some that slip through the net or some have a bad experience. That's impossible that that wouldn't happen. But generally speaking, if we can keep that ethos alive, we have got so much planned for 2021. And I'm talking completely restructuring what we do within a matter of months and making it so much better for everybody involved, you know, whether it's logistics or whether it's product offerings, whether it's catalogs, whether it's the online offering, everything is in the pipeline. In fact, the pipeline is so bloody big. It's quite unbelievable. And that's the way it's, it's great to work. And we, again, we can only do that because we're small enough to make those changes, but big enough to have such a massive impact. And the autumn winter reprint is a great example of that. We sold 10,000 copies in a matter of days and suddenly the, wipes, uh, the, sh the shelves are wiped clean. That was three or four weeks worth of supply. In fact, probably four and a half weeks worth of supply wiped out in a matter of days. But you know what? We were able to, we were able to redesign it within 24 hours and fight for a print slot to get it done. And within 48 hours, we had what looks like, and you will agree with me when you see it, a brand new catalog, and you'll be able to buy it on Thursday. That's not a brag, that's just a load of people working together and able to change at the drop of a hat. We can change things this afternoon if we want to, in any aspect, because that's what happens when you don't have tired old corporate structures where you have to uh, speak to board members or where you don't have tired old uplines who want things in certain ways. What we have is fresh, it's unique, and it's happening all of the time. So I think I've probably bleated on enough now. Um, I'm always very conscious of um, going on longer than I should do. You know, uh, it reminds me of many old tricks from the past when somebody would want to speak 25 minutes and two hours later they were still there bleating about the big cars they owned. This is not that era anymore. Anyway, that's it from me. Listen, I know it sounds really ridiculous because you hear it all of the time, but carry on that safety approach for every individual that you speak to yourselves, you know, your families, your customers, our, you know, level on safety and perception is so paramount because we're far from out of this mess that this year has put everybody in. I know you hear it everywhere, so let me just be another person that does say that too. Um, and carry on this amazing connection. You know, we'll speak many times before the end of the year. Every one of you know how to make contact with me and it seems like every one of you does, <laughs> which is absolutely fine. And you should continue to do that. So congratulations to the winners in this um, little incentive. Um, 
fact, congratulations to all the people who had such an extraordinary period 11. Um, and, you know, I, I can't thank you enough for the way you connect with each other, let alone what you actually do in the business. It's how you connect with each other. It's absolutely extraordinary. And my closing line is that I guess you're helping create the business that I always wanted for decades, but never could have because it just wasn't possible, but now it is. And that's why we're changing and doing the things we do. Anyway, have a fantastic Friday, wonderful weekend, and undoubtedly, I'll catch you soon. Take care, bye.